If you go up to the Effect menu, you'll see that there's two sections. The top one is Illustrator Effects. The bottom one is Photoshop Effects. Although some of these effects overlap and you can find the same type of effect in both, keep in mind that they work very differently. Illustrator Effects use vector calculations to apply the effect to an object. This means that when you scale the object or change the resolution of the page, the effect can be recalculated for that new resolution or size. Photoshop effects use pixel values and is dependent on resolution. That means if you change the size or resolution, you may notice some effects that you didn't really want to begin with. As an example, you can see here on the page I've got two separate circles with the same effect applied to them. We're going to apply the same effect, one using an Illustrator effect and the other using a Photoshop effect. Before we begin, I'll go up to the Effect menu and down to Document Raster Effect Settings to open this dialog box. There are lots of things you can change here, but the main thing we're looking at is the resolution. Right now, because I created this document with the web in mind, I created it at a screen resolution at 72 ppi. I'll press OK. Now I'll click on the left circle, go up to the Effect menu, and then down to Stylize, and then I'll choose Feather to blur the edges. I'll check the Preview box, and now I'll increase the feather radius. I'll do about 15 pixels in this case, and then I'll click OK. Now if I click away, you can see that that ball has been blurred.